go up from the past couple of nights. Texas Southern, mm -hmm. 69, Florida, 54. So the SEC had more teams ranked in the AP poll on Monday afternoon than any other conference. The league was celebrating. You get two teams in the college football playoff. Now you got more men's basketball teams ranked than anybody else. And I got a text from somebody on Monday night because I had like real travel issues. I was late leaving Memphis, flight delayed. I got stuck in Atlanta Monday night. I had to spend the night in Atlanta at the airport. You Not like, I mean, I didn't stay in the airport. I left the airport, got a nice hotel room. But like still, you don't want to get stuck somewhere. I was stuck. So every anything that was happening was off my radar. But like, I didn't think there was anything that needed to be on my radar. There were no good games Monday night or no relevant, no games that were, that I believe would impact the top 25 and one. And then I get a text from somebody and they're like, have you seen this Texas Southern thing? And I'm like, I, I, yeah, I don't even know what they're talking about. I didn't even know. Texas Southern is not something I keep close tabs on. My apologies to Johnny Jones. And not only did they beat Florida in the O-Dome, but they blew them out. Texas Southern was 0-7 and, and ranked 224th at Ken Palm before the game. They were 23.5-point underdogs. They go to the O-Dome, win the game by 15. What? Two things. I mean, you're going to just blow by. Michigan walked into Pinnacle on Tuesday. You missed that, by the way. They I walked missed that. I saw, I saw Fred Horvath. They walked in. Michigan walked in to Pinnacle Bank. They did walk in. This tie used to be tough. It used to be tough. Again, maybe the, maybe the Atlantic action. Bank Union Center is the new pinnacle. You know, let's yeah, live and, in, and well, my, well, let's live in well. the present. And then that's you quite a mouthful of an arena name, by the way. I can't tell yeah. you how many times I had to look up. I can't tell you how many times I've you googled. Just have, you, you should have called it the Big Bank. We both know this. You should just should have <laughs> called it the Big Bank. I can't tell you how many times I had to Google James Madison Basketball Arena <laughs> over the past two days it's the atlantic union bank center otherwise known as the big bank as the big bank challenge there we go maybe it's the new pinnacle it might be so michigan walked into pinnacle um and you used to not be able to just walk into the o-dome couldn't it. couldn't do it not when i was not when i was young you couldn't do it and now texas southern when 63 to 45 the Extremely rare hmm. double seed line swing. Oh, no. I think this is so significant that Texas Southern, you know, you'll often see at, at least one of the HBCUs that get into the NCAA tournament, get into the first four, and they make it a, a, a point not to put both in. This this win will be so good that if Texas Southern can win the SWAC, it's not it's not going to Dayton. If it can get into the tournament with an auto bid, it's not going to Dayton. It's getting that it's getting that bump. And if Florida can make the NCAA tournament, this is worth at least two seed lines. This is. I bet if I had Jerry Palm on right now, he would disagree with you. I don't care what Jerry Palm says. I oh, mean, wow. when it comes to the double seed line swing. This wow. If, if Florida's schedule plays out and they wind up getting say an eight seed and you take off the tech, the Texas Southern loss, I'm going to say they'd otherwise be a six. This is going to be the worst loss. I think it will be the worst loss of any team from a power conference that makes the NCAA tournament as an at large. If indeed Florida can make the tournament as an at large, it is a horrendous quad four loss that is going to stink up this resume for the rest of the season there and you just you just can't have it i mean what are we doing here i i don't know if it was just a situation with the gators where you know they i don't know they they come off a loss to oklahoma which by the way lost to butler on tuesday night in overtime a really necessary win for the bulldogs in that game um credit to chuck harris who had 26 points that was a nice win for laval jordan and that team and i know that fan base was like aching for any kind of relevant win, so good on Butler. But Florida lost to Oklahoma, turns around. I, I almost thought like half the team must be sick, but credit to Texas Southern for getting the win the way that it did, and you know, uh, no doubt about it. You know, it, UMB seed Florida, so to speak. And so, yeah, that was definitely a notable result 
uh, from Monday. As we speak here and record Wednesday morning, Florida's turning around on a two-day um, two swing, and it hosts the 2-8 and eight North Florida. Trivia time. Mm. They're cheating. What's North Florida's mascot? North Florida's mascot? Your eyes just went really wide. Oh, North there's Florida's the, mascot. What do we got? The North Florida Gales. Gales? It's a I bird. Oh, yeah. The, time in real time for people. The North Florida Penguins. Penguins. Yes. North Florida Penguins. There's only one penguin in D1. Who are the penguins in D1? Bo bonus trivia time. Side trivia time. The only penguins in D1 are the UMass Lowell Penguins. Man. Youngstown State. Or Youngstown the Youngstown State is penguins. North Florida. It's a bad bird, I'm telling you right now. The Ospreys. You ever come face to face? Oh, of course the Ospreys. No, I've never come face to face with the Osprey. Why, just, why would I ever get face to face? You wouldn't survive to tell the tale. Why would I get face to face with an Osprey? You think I'm trying to French kiss an Osprey? <laughs> I didn't say mouth to beak. I said face to face. You think I'm trying to suck face with an Osprey in a way I, that could lead to premarital sex with a bird? I'm not. Oh, man. It's not my thing. That's not my th I got my things, but that ain't my thing.